because, as I mentioned the other day, never do spots with animals or bombs because they don't know how to work. So the explanation last night, Eddie Kingston basically said that when I ran out there, I was filled with anxiety. I had flashbacks to the last time that I was filled with this much anxiety. And the last time he was filled with this much anxiety was when he was in jail and they came up to him and they threatened to send him to the big house. And he said, I, I just, I, I blacked out. And if you want to make fun of me, you're welcome to make fun of me. But essentially, you've not walked in the shoes of Eddie Kingston. And they both agreed that it's very likely that edX or uh, Impact Wrestling paid for the bomb. That was the big line there. And they disagreed about whether Kenny Omega really wanted to blow him up. So, I guess, anyway. They, they did everything that you could do. They tried. They acknowledged that it happened. They tried to cover for it. I mean... I thought that, that Kingston did a good job and Moxie did a good job. What can you do? We all saw it with our own two eyes. I mean, you can't really say it really blew up. We all watched it. I mean, you can't say that Eddie didn't sell it because he did. So the best you can do is try to explain what happened, and that's what they came up with. They're buddies now. They kind of blew that one off very quickly. My guess is that if there had been a big explosion, and I mean, obviously this is not even a guess. If there had been a big explosion and it went exactly as planned... My guess is that they would have had a totally different promo because obviously the promo at that point is then, well, why why are we buddies now? We had a blood feud. So because of what happened, the majority of the promo had to be about why Kingston was selling a bomb that didn't go off. And then they kind of offhandedly mentioned, I knew that wasn't really you, Moxley says, when they were feuding. And Kingston goes, ah, the title will do crazy things to a man. And that was the explanation. So now they're they're buddies and... And there you go. Then we had the Omega Callus Good Brothers promo about the night before. So basically what happened is they trolled the baby faces. They laughed at them. They talked about how they had set a bomb. But they wouldn't say whether or not they, they planned for the bomb to be a dud. But they were trying to get you to believe that Ah, you know, we meant to do this because we wanted you two guys to look like idiots. And you didn't look like idiots. Uh, Eddie Kingston out there selling for a bomb that didn't go off. And and they're both, oh, they're so sad. And so Eddie Eddie Kingston comes out. And they're making fun of the guy. And they, they said, listen, there's one of you, Eddie. And there's all of us here in this ring. So we're going to give you 10 seconds to get out of here. Or we're going to beat your ass. So all of a sudden, this big clock appears on the screen, and it's counting down from 10. And the heel's like, oh, oh no, we're so scared. And I don't know if I can actually say the line that Kenny said on national radio, but he said the greatest line in the history of lines. And he lays down, and and Callus gets on him. And they're all laughing and making fun of Eddie Kingston. So, of course, Eddie Kingston goes nuts, and he starts beating up Kenny Omega, and then the heels jump him because he's alone, and then Moxley comes out, but they're still outnumbered, and then who should come out but Christian Cage, and the baby faces clear the ring, and then Christian and Kenny Omega end up in the ring together, and of course, Kenny tries to hit Christian, Christian foils him because he's not an idiot baby face, and he lays out Kenny, and he grabs the belt, he's gonna go for the end prettier, but but uh, Don Callis makes a save. I thought this segment was awesome. I thought they did the best they could with the scenario. They made you... They they actually, because of what happened, they they acted like they purposely humiliated the babyface, which, of course, makes you sympathetic for these babyfaces. You want to see the babyfaces kick the heels' asses. I thought they did an exceptional job. Kenny, Kenny was awesome, and Don Callis was awesome, and Kingston is always awesome, and all the babyfaces came out looking strong. I just thought it was great. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.